what more can Valve do? It's been a little while since there's been any type of update from Valve about these bots. And I actually think that this is potentially quite a good thing. They are just kind of getting on with fixing the bots, hopefully, and finding a way to remove them. Or they just might not be working at it at all. They silenced them, so do they really need to carry on? I have no idea what's going on at Valve, but I hope they're working on it still. I was sitting at my desk the other day, then I started thinking about what more Valve could potentially do in this situation. Other than like actually fixing the bots, since that's the obvious answer and the solution that everybody wants Valve to get to eventually. What more could Valve do to help fix this situation? Well, I thought of a few things that Valve could do and I thought I wanted to share them all with you guys. Really quickly before we get into this video, I just want to say a whole bunch of you guys who are watching this video right now aren't actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you're here every day watching the new videos I put out, you may as well click the button and help me get to 100k by the end of the year. I think that goal would be absolutely insane. And I did joke before saying that potentially we could hit 90k by the end of the month. I don't think we will get that far, but we can get like as close as we possibly can. So if you want to subscribe and help me out, that would be amazing. Thank you. I feel like the first thing Valve could do in this situation is give us a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more communication as to what is going on. Like, I have no idea how big the TF team is right now. There's so much speculation around how many people are actually working on the game and stuff like that. So, I don't know how realistic getting updates on how things are going over there really is. And this is something that all of Valve in general kind of struggle with really, because communication with the people who play the games basically just doesn't exist a lot of the time. I would love it if maybe even like once a month the TF team would put out a blog post talking about the things that they were potentially working on for the game or asking like for an opinion on something in the hopes to make some changes to that thing that they ask about. For example, a weapon that people think is ridiculously underpowered or overpowered, Valve would ask the opinion of that and listen to what the community has to say to make changes based on that. It doesn't have to be a big major update, you could do something a little bit smaller but would still be really appreciated by the community. In fact, even just some silly interactions on Twitter would be incredible. There is a Team Fortress Twitter account, so maybe try finding the password and using it a bit. <laughs> I don't know. Another thing I think Valve could potentially do is that they could introduce a cooldown on players getting kicked from most of the games that they join. I don't know how well this would work, but honestly, I think giving a little cooldown, a bit like how CS does to players who are getting kicked way too much from games, would actually be quite beneficial. Even with it starting from 30 minutes all the way up to a 7 day ban like CSGO has, potentially. Or maybe even like a little less, so it goes from 30 minutes to a day, because this is TF2 casual, we're on about not CSGO competitive. This one especially is one I think could be abused, but that's why starting it at a half an hour ban probably wouldn't be the worst idea ever. So if you're a streamer and you're getting followed into every single one of your games that they do manage to kick you a couple of times, you could get timed out for that and you could get a cooldown for that. But generally, it will be the bots that are getting these cooldowns more than real players. That does also mean that once that one bot account does get timed out for half an hour or something like that, then all of the servers it would have joined wouldn't have been impacted by that bot for the next 30 minutes and then when it does start joining servers again getting kicked again goes up to an hour two hours five hours six hours whatever i don't even know but there's a lot of time that will happen without that bot in tf2 servers which would be quite nice if they could potentially find a way around people abusing it so maybe it has to be like different people calling the vote every time and like in very different games i've got no idea but i think a cooldown generally would be quite a good idea to help these bots become less of a problem the TF2 community is actually really, really good at kicking bots nowadays, so these bots would be on cooldown pretty much straight away. And the final thing is fixing the voting system. So Valve did make a change to it in the last update that they did. However, I see people with 9 votes yes and 2 votes no, and then the vote fails. For some reason, this system doesn't always work, and if players leave the game and all of the votes turn to yes, they still don't technically get kicked. I don't know if it's because the game can't actually physically kick them because they've already left the server instead, but I've noticed a couple of people rejoining after being apparently kicked and that the votes don't seem to be working the way Valve intended to, or at least from like my experience on like a couple of occasions. I've seen nine votes yes and two votes no fail as the bot leaves the server, which I think is a bit confusing and I think that's not how that works and maybe that's an issue with it or it's just a glitch and, you know, the votes are actually passing or something like that. I have no idea. Also, the my got bots don't seem to actually leave the servers. Uh, they just, <laughs> they just take the kick. They don't care, which I think is, you know, fair enough. 
but it feels like most other bots can leave the server and just come back, which I know that the votes were changed to try and fix that, but apparently there's still a way around it. Again, I don't think this one is like the end of the world because you can just kick the bot again, but it is a little bit annoying, especially if the votes were changed. And I'm sure Valve will actually want the vote changes to work how they intended it to. So hopefully this is something that could be looked into and fixed, hopefully. And I don't think it will be a big fix. I hope it's not. I'm sorry. Anyway, I think that's pretty much everything Valve can do other than actually remove the bots, which is obviously the solution that we all want. But if that solution is going to end up being like a massive fix and potentially take a really, really long time, there are a few more ideas there that could be used in the meantime to lessen the effects of the bots even more. Some of them might be better solutions than others. Uh, I think the communication one wasn't really just related to the bots, but TF2 in general, I think that'd be quite helpful. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you leave the video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can also check out my Patreon, which is down below in the description if you want to help support me doing this whole thing full time. It's been a massive goal of mine recently and I really want to start doing it as soon as I can. But yeah, anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.